We've been here for hundreds of years, Sano, and the Free Planet Rebellion had been going on for hundreds before that. Your people treated the free planets like dirt for hundreds of generations. I think I can't see. You are still bleeding. Nolira, please do not attempt to cause yourself further harm. I still have a lot to learn from you. This is your harm. Update. The nursery has been secured and transferred. The selected data files and storage have been secured and transferred. Time has now run out. The Bifrost is quickly deteriorating, so please, take care. You require assistance. Medical crew is currently available to assist you. What? Ali? Ali? Sanon, can you still move? Yes, but the AI appears to be gone. It can't be gone. Unless the processor was damaged. The AI unit is right next door. Damage is getting closer. The hall is not pressurized, but I don't see any suits. I can't see. Put the guns on now! Put it down! Clear! Clear! We're from the OTV Walton. We received your green zone emergency beacon. Ma'am? The Bifrost has been deemed unsafe. Is there any other crew on board? We have one woman unconscious here. Get a stretcher. Can you hear me? Val, try to stay awake. Vast Horizon. Episode 11. Recovery. Both survivors have been secured from the wreckage commander. Beacons are set. We can start the monitoring process for what remains of the Bifrost. We're on our way back to the Walton with survivors now. What do we have? We have two survivors. One human, one Trenet. Get them to medical now. They're all we found. Trenet has marks of mild dehydration and a few deeper lacerations on his limbs. But our primary concern is the woman. She has major trauma to the right hand, likely a high-velocity projectile wound. There's significant damage to soft tissue and bone. Also, abdominal trauma with apparent entrance and exit wounds. It appears she received some emergency treatment, but her pressure is dangerously low, and she suffered massive blood loss. The floor where we found her was covered in it. The woman first. Get her on the table set for the OR and start her on blood replacement. Prep the post-op region chamber with RTOSD. Eli, what do we have on the scans? No foreign debris detected in either the hand or the abdominal area. Whatever it was either exited during the injury or was removed shortly after. There is significant damage to her liver. The emergency organic sealant put in place is failing fast. So far it looks like we may be able to salvage her hand though. What? She's still awake? <laughs> Get her under, now, and bring me the surgical aid set. Alright ma'am, I need you to take some deep breaths. You were in an accident and required medical attention. You're on the OTV Walton. Now, breathe deeply. In. Out. In. Out. Perfect. Now you're in good hands. When you're awake... You... And so, it is not the metal you hold in your hands that will shape your futures, but the ideas you hold in your minds and the drive you hold in your hearts that will ultimately shape all of our futures. The founding University of Ogal Choir is proud to see you through to this day, and we were honored to aid you on your path. Farewell, and may your hunger for knowledge never be sated. Well, that's over with. Finally. <laughs> yes, finally we can go home. No more of this bother. Constance, come on now. How does it feel, Noli? Or Dr. Zhang on Twitter? Yes, finally you are a doctor. And Mum can stop bothering Connie and me about it. 
Now, I'm starved. I saw a Sudanese place that looked packed before the ceremony. Lolira's buying. <laughs> Am I now? Sure, why not? Baba Ah, there he is. Xiao Ying, We're going for lunch. Too hungry to wait for these doting moments? Let's get going. The food looks good. So the restaurant may fill up quickly as the ceremony lets out. Then we can book our travel back. Not that anything is wrong with our goal coil, but Tianliang is home and I have days of work piling up. And the water here tastes different. <laughs> That's just your perception. All the station water treatment facilities are identical. Always so dramatic. I'm glad you could all make it. But uh, I also look forward to leaving our gal choir behind me. Now I need to get something in my stomach. First, we're going to need to remove the bonded organic sealant. What? Nurse, remove the artificial limbs for cleaning and repairs. Their efficiency levels are marginal, and they're caked in blood. What are you talking about? Come on, Olira. Remember, you're paying. Do we have the results of the combined imaging cranial scan? What are you saying? This isn't how this happened. I am relieved this day is over. Now... You can get to the real work. Of course, Baba. I've been looking forward to this for so long. Actually, I have some news on that. I've been working with Dr. Watts on co-crop cultivation techniques. He's heading off to Onten for work in the Hall of Higher Sciences, but before he left, we worked to propose a new project on crop yields for the moons of Nan. As of two days ago, the proposal went through, and I'm slated to start as co-lead next month. Eh? And your own project, no less. After so many years, just getting your degrees. I should hope so. No more time to laze about. <laughs> oh, we're going to call me a laze about. Careful, Connie. I know all your secrets. Midnight cakes, movie binging weekends. I'm not the one who chose your career. You could have had lazy weekends too, if that's <laughs> what you wanted. No, Lyra couldn't be lazy if her life depended on it. She'll be up for a division nomination within 15 years, if I had any money to put on it. But you don't, because you decided to join the forces. <laughs> and it will be 12 years, if everything goes according to my plan. Well, just more to celebrate, then. Sergeant, this looks like a gunshot wound. Did you find a gun with the Bifrost survivors? What? The pressure is dropping again. Connie? The chamber is prepared. What are you saying? Baba? I'm sure Shema. No, up you get. There's more to do. Po, what's going on? We found a firearm in the room with them. It's been secured. Thank you, Sergeant. Tell Commander Gron. Lawrence? Commander Gron? You're going back under pretty quick. Lawrence, wait. What's going on? You don't have to run! <laughs> Dr. Zhang Antwi, I've been looking for you. No, I was... I was running after you. I remember this. Back on Ichikawa. I wanted to thank you, Sergeant, for putting up with the issues I created during the trip to Tianliang. I put your whole team in a situation that reflected poorly on you. I apologize, and thank you. Don't worry about that. It's over, and you're still safe, so it all worked out in the end, but in the future, just give me notice before you run off. It'll make my job a lot easier, if it's even my job anymore. I can do that. Now, how can I help you? Well, Fenton, the security programmer, said they were ready to start updating the lab's scanning systems, and they made note about your legs always setting off the alarm. They said they can calibrate it or something like that, but you'd need to come in and walk through the scanner a few times. If you have the time, I'll, I'll join you on the walk back to the lab. Well, I, I can be there later. I actually have a... No. I mean, yes, I'll join you. We can go now. 
It'll be nice to have the scanner not accuse me of theft every time I leave the lab. I would think it gets annoying after a time. So, your family is from Tianliang Station, then? Hmm? Yes. Aside from a couple aunts and cousins, we've been on Tianliang since the parting. <laughs> Damn. That's a legacy. To this day, each generation of my family ends up split down the middle. Half want to stay on a station, the other half move down to the free planets. Which station? If I had to guess... Hoffman? Hoffman? No. One more try. Really? Then... Wild card. Here, Ichikawa? <laughs> no, not at all. Ogao Choir, District 85. Which is funny, since I always thought you were from Ogao Choir, given the accent. Is this the kind uh, of I life mean, you wanted? You sounded more like my neighbors normal back lives home. Normal lives are for normal people. <laughs> I'd be Maybe wary to even qualify district. you as people. Some city section Doesn't I it know require about? some humanity? But, yeah. Or do they yeah, not take morals sense. into calculation? Doctor, we don't need to talk if you'd prefer. Sorry for the disturbance. What? No. Sorry, Sergeant. Nalira is fine. You don't have to call me doctor every time. And I know I sound like this. My tutors were from Ogal Choir, and I went to the founding university there for my graduate and doctorate. Can't seem to shake it. I was just there. At the university for the party. It's right there. I wouldn't go looking, Nolera. This is brittle enough as it is. Well, it left a mark on you then. I've never actually been to the founding university. It was never on my list of to-dos. Where are you Did going? Did you ever see the Craigney Mountains while you were out there? We used to spend our You shouldn't time leave, Nolera. Go back to the road. Get back to your polite That's conversation. Awesome. What is that? No, Lyra, go back. Just go talk to Lawrence. Walk to the lab. Stop looking where you shouldn't. Go back to your walk, No, Lyra. Open this door! What's going on? Just this once. Stop trying to do what you think is right. You have poor judgment, remember? Open the door! What's going on? Looks like you're losing an arm. The road's gone now. What a pity. <laughs> That's the wrong arm. I can feel it. My head. It hurts. It won't matter soon enough. You won't remember any of this. Her Alpha and SMR are outside the normal range. Increase her level of sedation and prepare for transfer to the chamber. I don't understand. That's not right. It's the other arm. Those are insurgents. Someone needs to help her. Oh. Those are insurgents. Everything is prepared. Turn off the television. I'll tell the commander and collect the survivor from the Bifrost. by Dr. Yensing that the human survivor was shot and a firearm was found in the green zone before extraction. We will go into this cautiously. Hello, I am Commander Gron, second in command upon the OTV Walton. I hope the time since your rescue has been relaxed and that you have been able to recuperate. You said Commander, not Kenvin. Commander is correct. I am a member of Technocracy Forces, and am thus a commander, not a Kenpen of the Free Planets. I speak Cameron Runyon and Monlanon, if you prefer to speak a Trenon tongue. No. Lion Standard will suffice. It is good that you appear fully healed. Your injuries were mostly superficial. The human we rescued you with was in far worse condition. She has yet to wake up. It seems the events of the Bifrost were strenuous, though we know very little of what happened to the ship or its entire contingent of crew and passengers. I am unsure what has happened to the others aboard the Bifrost. The other passenger was very injured when I met her at the Green Zone. The Bifrost was falling apart around us, and she struggled to remain safe. She has several 
Artificial limbs, which I believe made her time more difficult given their power outage. You must have spent some time with her. We will be talking with her after she awakens regarding the Bifrost's crew, but anything you can tell us now would be advantageous. We want everyone to come out of this safely. We just don't know where to begin. I do not know what to call you. I am Sanam. I spent only some short time with her, a few hours after we reached the Green Zone. We were not together in the rest of what remains of the Bifrost. We spoke very little. She was gravely injured and slept much of the time. Thankfully, we are treating her now. I look forward to speaking with her. I wonder how she will feel when she wakes up and sees you. Tell me about your experiences with the crew from before the Bifrost destruction event. I was in stasis. I was not on the active travel team at the time of... whatever happened. Every member I interacted with during pre-launch was very professional. Tell me about your experiences with the vessel itself. Of the Bifrost. The state of the Bifrost is phenomenal. A metal carcass left in space. It is a disaster that we will need to address and investigate. And if all those on board have died, it will be the most grievous loss of life since... The war. Yes, a new disaster. And a hard blow for our people. And something we must report back to the technocracy. I saw very little. Nothing to aid in an investigation. I am only relieved that I am here. Thankfully, your ship was able to find us, even when we were unable to communicate. I am sure you are. Then we will discuss what we know you saw. The green room, the gun, your fellow survivor. It is strange that only you two remained on board. None of the emergency escape auxiliary vessels could be located and our brief scans of the ships did not identify any corpses. That's good, then. It means they must have escaped somehow. From what, though, I do not know. The gun that was found alongside you and the other survivor was used to shoot her. This dresses you in liar's cloth, Sanon. I did not shoot her. It is unflattering. I did not shoot her. You are all who could. <sighs> We recovered the AI drive and database from the Bifrost as part of the rescue and emergency salvage. You are not a crew member. Prisoner Sun Sanan Anrun from Benyan Nunrun. Sentenced to 25 years of hard labor in the new colonies within the core system. Charged with participating in an attack on technocracy humanitarian and Trinian aid ships sent to the moon of Harnon during the siege of Five Rivers. I have not lied. I did not shoot no Lyra. I do not know what happened to the Bifrost or its crew, but I know you are a traitor. Working for technocracy forces, helping heal that Yithan! You are the rotten men weakened the Imperium. Now that you have healed and been discharged from medical observation, you will be moved to a prison cell aboard the Walton. Our captain will be informed of your identity and your reassessment of punishment and sentencing will be determined at a later date. I am not the only liar you picked up from that carcass, Commander Gron. She is not who she says she is, either. I tried to save our people. She starved them all to bone and claw. I only know one, Nolira. They say it is a common station name for the technocracy, but when you see her, you will know. Her mask of blood only hides more blood that she can never clean off. Takes it on to his new quarters. I must speak with the captain. I really didn't think it was true when I first heard of it. Oh, yeah, Auden. The seat's free. Join us. Oh, thank you. It's packed in here today. <laughs> it's packed because we keep picking up you all from your rescue ships. But, Vince, really, even if it were true, is true. Well, we still would have rescued her off the Bifrost. That thing was nothing but floating scrap metal by the time we got there. Scrap metal? No. <laughs> now, vessel that big, it will be worked on for years to repair it. Or maybe you're right. Strip it of the working parts and build a new one, but... Fuck. If it's really Jiang Antui... Jiang Antui? Wait, the agronomist? You haven't heard. 
the lady we rescued off the Bifrost might be her. My cousins, back on Gilderim, used to call her Dr. Decay. Huh. Then they weren't very creative, were they? Or very careful. It's pretty close to the stuff those terrorists still spew. Wasn't she supposed to be dead? She looked like it when we pulled her off that ship. All the blood and wounds. Looked like she'd been through the war all over again. Dr. Zhang Andui. I never felt like she was a real person. What I mean is, we saw her on the interviews and standing there on screen during the speeches after the war. It always felt like she was a constructed figure. A tool playing a role. Less so a person. To think she could be here. Out in the middle of nowhere. This trip was a patrol mission. Now we've got a hulking mass of Bifrost debris to report. And only two survivors. And we picked up you all from the Cyroy 7 pods last week. With still more to find. Feeling like a deep space taxi service at this point. <laughs> well, I can tell you we are very thankful for such a conveniently close taxi all the way out here. Certainly less boring this way. Five-year mission, and I thought we would never see any new people. I heard it was Commander Gron who found out it was Dr. Xiang and Tui. And that the other survivor is in a prison cell now. Your, your, your crew members... How does the Walton generally feel about her actions? Everyone's gonna feel different. Can't speak for anybody but myself in this. But I have my worries. We've got Trenin and humans aboard, and some Trenin and humans aboard that most likely want to see her out on the other side of the hull. And others thought I'll be looking to pull out the banners and bubbly, knowing she's alive and well. What about you, Auden? Got a soft spot for mass murderers? Well, I I believe that for now, I'll have to reserve making any public statements regarding my opinion, having not personally assessed her character. (laughs) Yeah, he's a diplomat, through and through. The question's not about her character, though. It's about her actions. Many things are brought into consideration during times of war. It is now, after the fact, that we discuss their moral standing, when it should have been debated during its conception. I fear that we continue to fall into the misconception that she acted alone in this. (laughs) So, nothing from you then. (laughs) Hello, Dr. Eck. I'm Dr. Jensig. First, I'm happy to report you're in good condition. Where am I? You're on board the OTV Walton. Our rescue team picked you up from the Bifrost five days ago. How are you feeling? Tired. Hungry. Relieved. Well, we can get some food in here for you soon. As for feeling tired, you were in surgery soon after your arrival, and in a regeneration chamber for the rest of the time. Until about five hours ago, in fact. You will feel some aches and pains, but the tired feeling will soon clear up. I was on the Bifrost, with Sinan, and the AI. There were embryos in stasis stored on the Bifrost, in the nursery. The embryos from the Bifrost nursery were recovered and transferred to the Walton. We've had several days now to get everything set up in one of the storage bays, and another of our medical doctors has been running the scans. So far, all the embryos that lived through... whatever happened on the Bifrost appear to be in fine condition. Thank you. Now, your artificial limbs are off. We have them cleaned, repaired, and charged. We also link them to the Walton's ambient power transfer, so that's ready for you once we clear you to walk around. But, while I cannot outright state this next part, I hope you will understand what I'm about to tell you. It appears that Sanan, the Trenin we also rescued from the Bifrost, has accused you of being someone else. The official statement from our captain so far is you are Dr. Nalira Eck, head agronomist and lead of the Bifrost Core System terraforming team. But due to the fame of the other identity proposed for you, many now consider you to be that person. All consider you to be that person, with whom you bear a striking resemblance. I see. 
The captain has told everyone to treat you with the respect of any technocracy citizen of your status. Actions or no, we all have our own views, either those of a hero or a <clears throat> mass murderer. Thank you for the warning, Dr. Yensig. Have you ever noticed how specific we are with our prejudices and revulsions? Someone can be a savior or a hero, but it's so undefined, vague. There are qualifiers, a hero of the people, a savior of the technocracy. But hate, that's so much more specific. Killer, murderer, mass murderer, terrorist. So to them, this person is either a hero or a mass murderer, not a doctor, nor a scientist. <laughs> you know what I am? I'm tired, tired and hungry. Yes, a nurse will be in soon with some food. Try to rest. It is best for you to just go back to sleep for now. Any questions before I go? Can I get you anything? Over there, the plant's in the corner. Can you move it closer? It needs more light. It shouldn't be stuck in the shadows like that. There, by the monitor, would be better. Here? Much better, yes. Anything else? Any questions about your health? We will have some questions for you soon. Once you're out of observation. What about my hand? I can't feel my hand. Vast Horizon, Episode 11, Recovery. Written and created by K.A. Stats. Produced with sound design by Travis Vengroff. Mixed and mastered by Brandon Strader. Starring Siobhan Lumsden as Dr. Nolira Eck. Tanya Malojevic as the AI. Daniel Demerin as Sunson Anan Rune. Christy Luce as Poiano. Jordan Cobb as Dr. Antwi. Yuan Sheng as Dr. Jiang and Shen Jiang. Sam Yao as Constance Antwi. A.R. Olivieri as Sergeant Lawrence. Ryan Philbrook as Corporal Vince. Lindsay Zana as Corporal Lee. Jamie Lane Johnson as Dr. Yensig. Kessie Rulinicki as Nurse Eli. Garan Fitzgerald as the Dean. David Devereaux as Auden Barrow. And Lonnie Manella as Commander Gran. The title theme for Vast Horizon, Adrift, was written by Brandon Boone, arranged by Stephen Malin, and sung by the Budapest Scoring Choir. Translations were provided by Sophie Yang. This episode would not be possible without the support of our listeners on Patreon. To get access to bonus content, like outtakes and bonus episodes, please support our show on Patreon, or by sharing this show with a friend, or leaving a kind review. This production is copyrighted 2020 by Fool and Scholar Productions, and Vast Horizon is a trademark of Caitlin Stats. Thank you for listening.